What's up guys, we're here back again with another Division 2 build video, welcome back, and today's build is yes, a DPS build. This is something completely off the hook, something completely different to what I'm used to. Guys, you know me, DPS, they don't really go hand in hand, but this build. Now, this build is my take on two particular talents, one of them is just not used whatsoever, and the other one is used somewhat in some builds. I thought I would try and put the two together to see if I can galvanize some nice little extra damage. And of course, as always with my builds, have some fun. You can see guys in the video, I am using an AR and an LMG. And the LMG being the Pestilence, and I am interchanging these weapons. I keep switching these weapons to get some extra damage. Once we go for the build, I'll explain why, but this is a very, very fun build, and it hits exceptionally hard. Harder than I thought it would do. Now, I am stacked fully into DPS, and yes, I could galvanize, I could stretch some more damage from this on this build with these weapons, but if you change these weapons about, you will get some extra big, fat, juicy damage, which I will demonstrate in a different video. But of course, guys, as always, if you enjoy this build, enjoy the video, you know what to do. That's a thumbs doodle. And if you enjoy the content and you want to see more of me, that's Woo Plays, then guys, I would love you to drop the Woo Bomb on the sub button, ding the bell to be notified when I upload my shizzle. Peeps, let's move this. What's up guys? Yes, back. You've seen some of the footage with the build, and again, I'll put that as an overlay as well, so you can watch some of the build go as well. It hits exceptionally hard, and there's room for improvement. Seriously, guys, it's a lot of fun. Now, with every build I ever do, I'd like to put my own spin in it, and not to mention it gives you guys, the community, opportunity to tweak and twist to your own playstyle, and that's what I like on all my builds. It gives you that interpretation of you can... Just combine your favorite pieces and try and get some nice damage from this. Let me go through this step by step and explain what I'm using. And if yes, of course, you can get some more damage. I know that, I know. But I wanted to put two talents together to see if I can put a build out which is viable and good. Guys, very, very good. So, guys, I'm using the Gunner Specialization. Why? I like the ammo. I just like the ammo <laughs> refill. I love ammo and I think it works really really well with this build and it's nice to have on this build because you need ammo you need to keep replenishing that ammo and that works very tasty on this setup so guys yes I'm using gunner you can use demolitions if you want to you can use technician if you want to you can use whatever you want I feel for me personal preference is gunner I like that with this setup I am all red guys yes I am six offensive 12 offensive little mini attributes um, of course I'm gonna 726k armor 330k health let's go through the build guys we'll start the mask and the mask is province defense and I'm rolling with the free piece um, headshot damage critical hit chance critical hit damage nice and again I'm using the free piece because I want to garner as much crit damage as possible on this um, I want to hit as hard as I can with this so yeah, this is why I'm rolling with the free piece Providence. And um, with this, I've got weapon damage max, headshot damage, 12% crit damage, and 12% crit damage mod. It's awesome. It is God Sausage Roll. It is, guys. It is. T-shirts available now. Let me know in the, in the comment section if you want one. Anyways, so guys, the only thing I would do to change this potentially is change the headshot damage to critical hit chance. That way you get you some more crit, especially for the pestilence. Um, you want to garner as much crit as possible. So yeah. Maybe switch out headshot damage for crit chance if you can. But guys, trust me, it works as it is. The second piece of Providence is this piece. Um, again, it's not perfect. It's not perfect, but it's it'll do. Um, I just need to, again, optimize the weapon damage. Get out of 15% and happy days. Uh, it's crit damage and, of course, critical hit chance. And that's the way you want to roll on this build. Then we have the lovely jubbly knee pads. And guys, again, with... Any build now, rifle damage, yes, Fox's Prayer, it just it just works. And again, if you use this in PvP, I've tested this in PvP, I've killed a couple of rogue agents with this build as well, as you do, and it does hit hard, of course, yes, I know. You go into PvP, and most people roll with three, four, or five armor pieces, and the rest is just crit chance, crit damage, I understand. But this does hit very, very hard, extra weapon damage, it is nice. 
So I'm rolling with the Fox's Prayer knee pads. I feel they have a huge value because of that 8% damage to targets out of cover. And you see, again, God Sausage roll. Then we have the pair of gloves, and of course it is the Contractor's Gloves, and it's de weapon damage, um, damage to armor, and critical hit damage, and you've got, again, that bonus from the damage to armor, and also damage to targets out of cover, and again, these are primarily always going to be active, especially from Fox's Prayer, because enemies are mostly out of cover, and damage to armor, that will do some really nice damage, and whip off the armor very, very quickly on them big, fat, horrible NPCs. Of course, and that Petrov piece, so it is 10% LMG damage. Then we look at the backpack, which is strange. And the reason I say strange is the talent, but we'll go through the pieces first. So it is weapon damage, crit chance, crit damage, and a 12% crit damage mod. But the talent, versatile. Amplifies total weapon damage for 10 seconds when swapping between your primary and secondary weapons if they are different. 35% to enemies within 15 meters for shotties and SMGs. 35% tasty. 35% to enemies further than 25 meters for rifles and marksman rifles. And 10% to enemies between 15 and 25 meters for LMGs and assault rifles at once most per 5 seconds per weapon type. So is this a wonderful piece of gear and you should use it? Guys, it isn't. It isn't, but it has nice value. And again, we know, guys, we've been playing this game for so many hours now. And I think it's time that we just have a play with these builds and have a play with the pieces and see how much fun you can have. And Versatile does work. And it is a nice little change up from the mix of Composure or whatever on your backpack vigilance. You know, I get it, but this is a nice alternative. It's a nice bit of fun. I've opted for the AR LMG option. Why? Yes, I'm missing out on a lot of damage. Of course I am. But what I'm going to do is build, rolling with an SMG and a shotgun to show you again how powerful it is and switch up one or two of the pieces and you'll see how powerful it can be. Now, why am I rolling with versatile? Again, huge change. And I like, I'm a big AR guy. I love my ARs. So I roll with assault rifles on literally all of my builds, just how the way I roll. And LMGs, it's nice to have that secondary. And of course, Pestilence. Is Pestilence the best exotic in the game? Guys, it is one of my favourite weapons. So I have to utilise this. For have their massive, massive ticks of damage. I am getting 900, 950k damage. Of course, you can get more. I know this. You can get more. Someone's going to tell me in the comment section, I can hit 1.234 million. I know, guys, I know. Don't blow that trumpet of yours. What I'm saying is... This works as it is intended. It works. Um, could it be better? Yes, it could be better, of course, but does a wonderful job through legendaries. And of course, it rinses heroic content, rinses. The damage is just fantastic with this current setup. Then we have the chest piece, and that is Grupo Sombro SA, and that is critical damage. That's nice to have because at 15% is great to have on your ARs to get as much damage as you can. Weapon damage, crit chance, crit damage, and a 11.9% crit damage mod. The talent is perfect spark. Damage enemies with a skill increases total weapon damage by 15% for 20 seconds. This is up 99% of the time, so the extra 15% damage. Again, I know there are different talents that will do different things to maybe elevate your damage a little bit more. I get it, I get it, guys. But again, I'm using something very, very different to showcase that... All builds can work. And versatility and variety is key. Now the game is a little bit stale, in my opinion. So having builds like this, they are good to have. And they're good to showcase. And I feel it's time that you can see this. As you can see on the build, there's 53% crit chance. Once we go through it, 193% crit damage. It does hit very, very hard. Perfect Spark, great, it's up 99% of the time. It is a wonderful, wonderful chess piece talent. Again, there are different alternatives that can gain you some extra damage. I understand, you could go with Glass Cannon if you wanted to, but you are that feather in the sand, you know it, you're going to get absolutely rinsed if you hit, but Glass Cannon still is a wonderful talent to have on your chess piece. Now we go through the skills, we'll do that first because the skills, what they do, the striker drone is 22.7 second cooldown, um, it's dealing 19144 damage, remember this is not a skill build, it just isn't, 
but what he does offer is that little tick of extra damage and he's nice I like this um, and again it procs perfect spark on the chest piece so that's why I'm using the striker drone I feel that is by far and away the best option to use bar none you could use the assault turret that would do okay but striker drone you know you let it fly you direct it to where you want to go then concentrate on firing your chosen weapon simple Mods guys, duration, health, and of course, get some damage on there. Now, in terms of the Crusader Ballistic Shield, I'm using that. Again, it's nice to have that little bit of protection. Admittedly, it is like holding a, a bit of paper <laughs> by your chest piece. I get it, but it's nice to have that little bit of protection that gives you a few extra seconds of, again, survivability before you have to get your ass into cover. And again, Vigilance is a good option. The thing with Vigilance is, the problem is once that shield's gone, that's it, you're screwed. Vigilance is gone, you have to wait for that to come back again. So it, it is very situational. Um, you've got Composure, is it, as well, which, again, once you have uh, a skill active or within your radius, what happens then is, you know it, um, you get that extra bit of damage as well. But I like Perfect Spark. I think it's, it's a nice alternative, a nice addition. So in terms of the health and regen, don't worry too much, guys. It is, it is a paper-thin mache piece of shit it is but it'll give you a few extra seconds survivability and that's nice to have in difficult content shield health shield health and of course holstered regeneration let's go through the weapons and again the weapons are perfectly preferential to your play style I mean, it's entirely up to you and how you play that's it so don't rely on i've said this is the best weapon it isn't the best weapon this is my preferred weapon I like this, I've used this in PvP, it does me some nice kills, I like this. So it's kind of my go-to AR for DPS. I'm using the G36C, again I like this weapon, I like how it rolls. 110.9k uh, base damage. The assault rifle damage is just, again, nearly 15%. It just needs a little bit of optimization. Um, we have 21% health damage, 10% crit damage. Um, strained. Strained is one of the best DPS talents in the game, bar none. It's that strong. Gain 10% crit damage for every 0.5 seconds you are firing. Stacks up to five times. The RPM on this is about 750, if I recollect. Yeah, 750. So what happens with this is the longer you're firing, you will get up to 50% crit damage. Um, this is good. This is this is truly good. What you will get um, is you can reach that 50% quite easily, and you do have about a second, two seconds of firing with 50% crit damage. You will easily get 30, 40% most of the well, easily, guys, easily. Just again, unload your 41 bullets. Happy days. Uh, you will get a really good ratio with this. Strained, very, very strong. And it's great on, for me, lower RPM weapons because you will see the maximum amount of crit damage from this. But I like this. I, I truly do. Now, in terms of mods, guys, crit chance, rounds, crit chance, and, of course, more critical hit chance. My secondary is, of course, the Pestilence. Um, guys, you know that. Very, very powerful LMG. Um, it is LMG damage, damage targets that cover, and damage to armor. Um, hit supply debuffing 100% weapon damage over 10 seconds. This stacks up to 50 times. Whenever an enemy dies with this debuff, all stacks are transferred to a nearby enemy within 25 meters. And again, simple with this, guys. You can just tag them NPCs. If you see five or six in legendary content, you know what to do. Just tag them. Tag them a couple of seconds. Tag. A couple of seconds. Tag. What happens? It applies that debuff. So what happens then, if they're taken down, it will spread like wildfire to the next NPC. That's a huge chunk of damage that you are dealing by utilizing the Pestilence talent. It is so strong. What do you guys think is better? Pestilence, Scorpio. Again, depending on the build. But overall, if you had to pick, what would be your preferred exotic choice? Pestilence or... Or, a, or the shotgun Scorpio. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I love them both. Rate of fire, stability, and accuracy are the mods attached to the pestilence. Again, they're not transferable. It is what it is. And then we have the TDI card custom. Is there for show? Pistol damage, max, in sync. We know what that does, guys. That is the perfect PvP talent it is, isn't it? In sync. Everyone. I've seen everyone use in sync. That's just how it is. That is fair enough. And then let's take a look at the stats. Now, in terms of my G36C, again, as I said, 53% crit chance. Good place to be. It's a good place to be. Again, if you can get a slightly better 
mask, you will have remove the headshot damage and then you have the extra 6% potentially crit chance. So that's near max crit chance. Great, awesome. 192.3% crit damage again, very, very tasty. That's a great place to be. Again, if you, you might be able to squeeze a little bit more, but still 192.3% is fantastic. It really is. I'm I'm happy with that. I really, really am. Now, in terms of the pestilence, let's go through that. That is 38% crit chance, 182.3% crit damage. Again, it's missing a bit from the mods on the weapon. Um, but again, if you can get some extra crit chance on the mask, happy days. Or you could, again, lose one of the crit damage pieces, for example, Providence, and put Seska on there to get 10% crit chance. I wouldn't personally, but still, if you're going to switch up from the AR, that is also an option. But yeah. It does hit very very nice it would like it would need a bit a little bit more crit chance but still it is super duper effective as is guys trust me it is beautiful that is the build guys let me know what you think in the comment section um skill haste again the zero there's there's no point looking at anything else really guys it's just all about the dps output on this build in fact we'll look at the stats very briefly um but so look, here we go. So 96.9% .9 all weapons damage bonus. You've got the AR damage, light gun damage, um, light machine gun, sorry, damage. Yeah, it's a good place to be. I like this. I truly like this. I like what you can do with this build. It is such a fun build for PvE. And again, I like interchanging my talents to making sure that, again, it's viable. I've run plenty of content, heroic content. I matchmake a lot of the time. I play with clan mates from time to time, and this is a really nice combination. I ran a couple of legendaries as well. One of them, I was a top DPS. -er. Yes, it was really, really good. And the other one, I did okay. I did really well with this. Um, but this is this is what it is, guys. This is a fun build to use in any kind of form of the game. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Of course, if you want to see more weird and wacky builds, subscribe to the channel, and of course, comment below. And yes, I will see you in the next one. Peace.